This game lived up to all the hype. It is a Football Friday showdown. Second ranked Dowling Catholic at number one Southeast Polk. Now going in, both teams undefeated and together, they've won nine of the past 10 state championships. Dowling, the confident visitors. Southeast Polk out to protect that new home turf. Opening drive, Maroons march down the field. Dante Cataldo swings it to Trey Wilson and he's gonna pass. Wide open, Curtis Horace in the end zone, seven zip, maroon machine. The Rams first drive, quarterback Connor Moberly looking end zone. It is tipped and picked off by Nick Frericks. So it's seven zip Dowling after one. Second quarter, Rams back to the air. Moberly, future cyclone deep to Carson Robbins down the sideline deep into maroon territory. Same drive, Moberly, quick slant to Sam Zelenovic. Zelenovic, end zone, game tied, 7-7. The Rams add a field goal and lead it 10-7 at the half. Third quarter, Runes take the lead. Rashad Davis powers in from three yards out. Dowling goes up 14-10. Late fourth. Rams come back in the rain. C.J. Phillip, former Dowling running back, gives SEP the lead back, puts the Rams up 17-14. But the Maroons put together a drive. Three seconds left. Andrew Schumacher, good from 35 yards out. We're going to overtime tied at 17. First OT after Dowling scores. SEP fourth and 18. Moberly, Zelenovich. We play on, head to the second overtime, tied at 24. Teams trade touchdowns in the second OT in the third overtime. Schumacher, good again, gives Dowling a 34-31 lead. Last chance for SEP, fourth and one from the one. Rams going for the win, Moberly sneak, reaches for the goal line, touchdown. Game winner on the second effort. Southeast Polk wins an instant classic 37-34 in triple overtime. Players need oxygen, so do the fans. The one-two showdown somehow lives up to the hype of game of the year. Here's John Sears with SEP QB1. It's everything you'd want in a number one versus number two matchup. Dowling Southeast Polk overtime after overtime and the Rams win it on a one yard QB sneak fourth and one Connor Moberly over the goal line describe that last play it came down to about a couple inches yeah I know you know I got stood up on the first one ran it back again um you know just got stood up and just I, I had to reach it fourth down you know they, they you know not taught to reach but I mean fourth down to win the game you got to what were the emotions like in this game you know we just we just uh were told on offense if we get the ball go score and that's what we did you know um we were just great offensively it's just like when we needed us, we, we stepped up. How much fun is it to play in an atmosphere like this, one versus two, back and forth? This is an incredible game. You don't ask for anything better than this. I mean, one versus two, uh, going into the week, I, I knew it was going to be like this. Didn't know it was going to be this crazy. <laughs> but, I mean, yeah, you you always, no, no place I'd rather be than right, than right here. You ever played in a game like this before? Never, never. I've never even played. In, I didn't even know what the overtime rules were in high school. <laughs> Good chance you might see him again down the road. Yeah, yeah, for Grand sure. Team. That's a great team, and uh, shout out to them for having a great game. Connor, congratulations. Great game tonight. Go shower up, man. You got beat around a little bit. Great game. Congratulations. Southeast Polk, what a win against Dowling Catholic. Crazy 37-34. The Rams stay undefeated. Maroons' first loss of the season. Like I said, good chance we may see this one again down the road.